Did you know that Illinois, the land of Lincoln, is the birthplace of the skyscraper? Nestled in the heart of the United States, Illinois has a rich tapestry of history and culture that's just waiting to be explored. This vibrant state, which sits along the Great Lakes, is not just the birthplace of the skyscraper but also home to the third largest city in the U.S., Chicago. Illinois is a place where the past and present intersect beautifully. From the bustling streets of its metropolitan areas to the tranquility of its natural parks, there's a diverse range of attractions that cater to every kind of traveler. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a lover of the arts, or an outdoor adventure seeker, Illinois has something for you. So grab your virtual passport as we embark on a journey to discover the state's hidden gems and popular spots. Join us as we explore the top 10 must-visit destinations in Illinois. At number 10 we have the Starved Rock State Park, a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. Nestled in the heart of Illinois, this natural oasis is a true testament to the serene beauty and rich history of the region. Starved Rock State Park is a mesmerizing tapestry of steep sandstone canyons and cascading waterfalls, all woven together by miles of hiking trails. Each season paints a new picture on this landscape. The spring adorns the park with vibrant wildflowers, while the winter drapes it in a pristine blanket of snow. The autumn, however, steals the show with its fiery palette of colors, transforming the park into a spectacle of nature's artistry. The park's 18 canyons, all formed by glacial meltwater and stream erosion, are its crowning jewels. These canyons house stunning waterfalls that roar with life after a rainstorm, creating a symphony of sounds that resonate with the rhythm of nature. But the allure of Starved Rock State Park extends beyond its natural beauty. It also holds a significant place in the annals of Native American history. The park derives its name from a tragic tale of love, war and sacrifice involving the Illinois tribe and the Ottawa tribe. This tale has been passed down through generations, adding a layer of mystical allure to the park. The park's visitor center offers a glimpse into its rich past, with exhibits that delve into the history of the Native American tribes that once called this land home. Here you can immerse yourself in the stories of these tribes, their traditions, and their profound connection with the land. Whether you're a seasoned hiker looking for your next adventure, a history buff eager to delve into the past, or simply someone seeking a respite from the hustle and bustle of city life, Starved Rock State Park has something for you. It's a place where you can reconnect with nature, discover the echoes of history, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Starved Rock State Park, where nature meets history. Next up at number 9, we journey to the tranquil Anderson Japanese Gardens. Nestled in the heart of Rockford, Illinois, this serene sanctuary is a testament to the timeless elegance of Japanese design. Spanning across 12 lush acres, the Anderson Japanese Gardens are a sight to behold. The meticulously manicured landscapes are a harmonious blend of traditional Japanese elements and the natural beauty of the Midwest, where every turn of the winding paths reveals a new vista of beauty. The gardens are home to several tranquil water bodies with calming koi-filled ponds that are a treat for the senses. These vibrant orange fish dart playfully beneath the water's surface, their movements mirroring the garden's ethos of peace and tranquility. As you meander through the gardens, you'll also find gentle streams that flow beneath arched bridges, their soft gurgling adding a soothing soundtrack to your visit. No trip to the Anderson Japanese Gardens would be complete without a stop at the authentic Japanese tea house. Here you can partake in a traditional tea ceremony, a ritual that embodies harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. As you sip on your matcha tea, you'll feel a sense of calm wash over you a testament to the healing power of this timeless tradition. The Anderson Japanese Gardens were created by John R. Anderson with the guidance of renowned designer Huichi Kurisu. The gardens were born out of a friendship between the two and a shared belief in the power of nature and tranquility. Their purpose was to foster peace and tranquility, to create a space where visitors could escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and reconnect with nature. Today, the Anderson Japanese Gardens stand as a symbol of that vision. They are a place where tranquility reigns, where the beauty of the natural world meets the grace of Japanese design, and where visitors can find a moment of peace amidst the chaos of life. Anderson Japanese Gardens, your haven of serenity in Illinois. In the eighth spot, we have the Art Institute of Chicago, a world-renowned art museum. Situated in the heart of the Windy City, this institute is more than just a museum. 
It's a vibrant symbol of Chicago's rich cultural tapestry. The Art Institute of Chicago is an architectural gem. Its Beaux-Arts-style facade reminiscent of the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893 is a sight to behold. But the real magic begins once you step inside. With over 300,000 works of art spread across its two main buildings, the museum's collections are as vast as they are diverse. From ancient Egyptian artifacts to contemporary art installations, the Institute is a treasure trove for art enthusiasts. One of the must-see collections here is the Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art. Home to one of the largest collections outside France, the museum boasts masterpieces by artists like Monet, Renoir, and Van Gogh. It's here that you'll find Van Gogh's famous The Bedroom, a piece that encapsulates the artist's personal turmoil and longing for a place of his own. But the Art Institute of Chicago isn't just about paintings. It houses an impressive collection of armor, miniature rooms, textiles, and photography. There's even a research library and an art school that's been shaping the future of American art for over 150 years. This museum is more than a place to view art, it's a place to experience it. Here art comes to life through interactive exhibits, educational programs, and special events. It's a cultural hub where visitors can immerse themselves in the world of art, history, and creativity. From Picasso's The Old Guitarist to Grant Wood's American Gothic, the Art Institute of Chicago offers a journey through different eras, cultures, and artistic movements. Whether you are an art connoisseur, history buff, or simply a curious traveler, this museum is a feast for the senses and the mind. So next time you find yourself in the heart of Chicago, don't miss the chance to explore this artistic wonderland. Remember, it's not just about seeing art, it's about experiencing it. The Art Institute of Chicago, where art comes alive. Coming in at number 7 is the iconic Navy Pier. Stretching over 3,000 feet into the sparkling waters of Lake Michigan, Navy Pier is a playground of joy and discovery. Its star attraction is the Centennial Wheel, a towering Ferris wheel offering panoramic views of the Chicago skyline and the infinite lake beyond. Each gondola is enclosed and climate controlled, ensuring a comfortable ride no matter the weather, and at night the wheel is illuminated in a dazzling display of lights. But Navy Pier is more than just a Ferris wheel. It's a historical monument, a testament to the resilience and evolution of the city of Chicago. Originally built in 1915, it served as a dock for freight and passenger traffic. During the World Wars it was transformed into a naval training center, housing nearly 10,000 inductees at a time. The pier's name pays homage to this era, a nod to its service in the Navy. In the years following the wars the pier fell into disrepair, but Chicago wasn't ready to let this landmark fade away. In the 1990s, it was reimagined and revitalized, blooming into the vibrant tourist destination we know today. Now, Navy Pier is a hub of entertainment boasting a plethora of attractions, from the Chicago Children's Museum to the IMAX Theater, from the Crystal Gardens to the Shakespeare Theater, there's something for everyone. Foodies will revel in the diverse dining options, while shoppers can find unique souvenirs at the many retail shops. Throughout the year, Navy Pier hosts a variety of events and festivals, further adding to its allure. Fireworks light up the sky in the summer months, and winter brings the beloved Winter Wonderfest, transforming the pier into a festive holiday playground. So, whether you're looking for a thrilling ride on the Centennial Wheel, a taste of culture at one of its many establishments, or simply a stroll along the dock to enjoy the breathtaking views, Navy Pier has it all. Navy Pier, a hub of entertainment on Lake Michigan shores. At number 6, we delve into history at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. Immerse yourself in the life and legacy of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. This iconic institution, located in Springfield, Illinois, is more than just a museum. It's an interactive time machine, where history is not just observed, but experienced. As you journey through the museum, you'll encounter a treasure trove of artifacts, documents, and multimedia exhibits that bring Lincoln's story to life. The museum houses an impressive collection of over 52,000 items, including original Lincoln manuscripts, family letters, and even a copy of the Gettysburg Address written in Lincoln's own hand. But the museum is not just about preserving the past, it's about making history engaging, interactive, and accessible. Here, history is not just seen, it's heard, touched, and lived. The museum's Ghosts of the Library show, 
uses special effects and live performance to explore the importance of history and the quest for knowledge. It's a mesmerizing spectacle that will leave you fascinated and inspired. The Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum also serves as a research hub. Its library holds an astonishing collection of over 12 million items related to Illinois history. Scholars, historians, and curious minds flock here to dive into this rich resource. The museum also offers educational programs, workshops, and events throughout the year aimed at promoting Lincoln's ideals of freedom, equality, and justice. These initiatives bring together people of all ages and backgrounds, fostering a sense of community and shared heritage. In the heart of the land of Lincoln, the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum stands as a testament to a man who led the nation through its darkest hours. Through its exhibits and programs, it continues to inspire generations with the life and ideals of this remarkable leader. So whether you're a history buff, a student, or just someone seeking to understand more about one of America's greatest presidents, this museum is a must visit. The Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, a tribute to one of America's greatest presidents. Halfway through our list at number five, we present the legendary Wrigley Field. As the camera pans over Chicago's cityscape, the century-old Wrigley Field comes into focus. More than just a baseball park, it's a beacon of American sports history, a testament to the enduring love affair between the city and its beloved Cubs. As the stadium's rich history unfolds, archival images from the early 20th century appear. Originally known as Weedman Park, it was built in 1914 for the Chicago Whales of the short-lived Federal League. After a year, the league disbanded, and chewing gum magnate William Wrigley Jr. bought the team and the park, eventually renaming both after himself. Throughout this narration, black and white photos of Wrigley and the Wales team can be seen. Since then, Wrigley Field has been the stage for numerous historic moments, from Babe Ruth's alleged called shot home run in the World Series of 1932, to the Cubs' own World Series victory in 2016, ending a 100-year drought. During this, clips of these iconic moments play on screen. Wrigley Field is unique among baseball parks, with its iconic ivy-covered outfield walls, which are shown in lush, vibrant detail. The manually operated scoreboard, this green giant is presented in a sweeping shot. In a world where technology dominates, the scoreboard at Wrigley Field stands as a throwback to simpler times. The rooftop seating across the street is then highlighted, showcasing the community atmosphere that surrounds Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field is more than just a destination, it's an experience. As the camera pans to an aerial view of the stadium, the narrator invites viewers to come and feel the magic, share in the history, and be part of the ongoing story that is Wrigley Field. The final shot is a close-up of the Wrigley Field sign, Wrigley Field a shrine to baseball in the heart of Chicago. At number four we have the Magnificent Mile, Chicago's premier shopping destination. A place that pulses with life and energy, the Magnificent Mile is more than just a shopping district. It's the heartbeat of Chicago's economic and social scene, a vibrant, bustling hub that draws in locals and visitors alike. In the heart of downtown Chicago, the Magnificent Mile, or the Mag Mile as it's often called, stretches for an impressive 13 blocks. It's a veritable paradise for shopaholics, boasting an eclectic mix of over 460 stores. From high-end luxury brands to quirky independent boutiques, there's something to satisfy every taste and budget. But shopping is just the beginning. The Magnificent Mile is also a gastronomic wonderland, home to a dizzying array of restaurants, cafes, and eateries. Whether you're a foodie looking for gourmet delights or just craving some good old-fashioned comfort food, you'll find it here. The culinary scene is as diverse as it is delicious, offering everything from Michelin-starred dining to casual, on-the-go options. Beyond shopping and dining, the Magnificent Mile is also a hub for entertainment and culture. It hosts a multitude of events throughout the year, such as the famous Magnificent Mile Lights Festival, a dazzling display of holiday lights and festivities that officially kicks off the holiday season in Chicago. And let's not forget about the numerous galleries, theaters, and museums that pepper the district, offering a rich blend of art and culture. The Magnificent Mile is a significant contributor to the city's economy, generating billions of dollars in revenue each year. It's a testament to Chicago's spirit of innovation and commerce, a place where business and pleasure go hand in hand. 
So if you're planning a trip to Chicago, make sure to set aside a day, or even two, to explore the magnificent mile. Wander its length, duck into its shops, sample its cuisine, and immerse yourself in its lively atmosphere. It's a destination that truly encapsulates the essence of the Windy City. The magnificent mile where shopping meets entertainment. Coming in at number three is the stunning Millennium Park. Nestled in the heart of Chicago, this 25-acre green space is a testament to the city's commitment to art, culture, and the great outdoors. One of the park's most iconic features is the Cloud Gate sculpture. Known to locals and tourists alike as the Bean, this 110-ton stainless steel marvel reflects the city's skyline in a way that's nothing short of mesmerizing. Whether you're walking under its belly or capturing the perfect selfie, Cloudgate offers an experience that's as unique as the city itself. But Millennium Park is more than just the Bean. It's also home to the Crown Fountain, an interactive work of public art that uses LED lights to display the faces of Chicago residents. During the summer months, the fountain's water features provide a welcome respite from the city heat, making it a favorite among children and adults alike. Then there's the J. Pritzker Pavilion, an outdoor concert venue that boasts a state-of-the-art sound system and an architecturally stunning design. As the home of the Grant Park Music Festival, the pavilion plays a vital role in Chicago's cultural scene, hosting a range of performances from classical to contemporary. Throughout the year, Millennium Park serves as a gathering place for events of all kinds. From outdoor fitness classes to film screenings, the park offers a variety of experiences that cater to a diverse array of interests. In the winter, the McCormick Tribune Ice Rink transforms the park into a winter wonderland, attracting both novice and experienced skaters. And in the warmer months, the Lurie Garden blooms with a vibrant display of perennial plants, providing a tranquil escape within the bustling city. Millennium Park is more than just a park. It's a snapshot of Chicago, a city that's as diverse as it is dynamic. It's a place where art, culture, and nature converge, offering visitors a taste of the windy city that's as varied and vibrant as the people who call it home. Millennium Park, where art, culture, and nature converge. Almost at the top, at number two, we have the towering Willis Tower. Soaring high into the sky, it's a marvel of modern architecture, standing at a staggering 1,453 feet. This height makes it the second tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, a title it proudly owns. The Willis Tower is not just about height, though. It's also home to the Sky Deck, an observation deck that offers breathtaking views of Chicago's skyline. On a clear day, the vista extends over four states. Talk about a bird's eye view. This iconic edifice has a rich history too. Constructed in the 70s, it was then the tallest building in the world, and has since influenced skyscraper design worldwide. Its sleek black design is a staple in Chicago's skyline and its influence on architecture is undeniable. The Willis Tower, a symbol of Chicago's architectural prowess. And finally, at number one, we have the beloved Lincoln Park Zoo. This is a place where the wild heart of nature beats in sync with the bustling rhythm of the city. Nestled in the urban landscape of Chicago, Lincoln Park Zoo brings a touch of the wild to the Windy City. With a history dating back to the late 19th century, Lincoln Park Zoo is one of the oldest zoos in North America, and it's teeming with a diverse array of creatures from all corners of the globe. From the regal African lions and playful sea lions to the endangered black rhinoceros and the elusive snow leopards, the zoo is home to over 200 species of animals. Each one has a story to tell a story of survival, adaptation, and the intricate web of life that connects us all. But Lincoln Park Zoo is more than just a menagerie of exotic animals. It's a hub for conservation efforts, a place where science, education, and a love of nature intertwine. The zoo is committed to preserving biodiversity, fostering empathy for wildlife, and inspiring the next generation of conservationists. With initiatives like the Urban Wildlife Institute and the Plant Conservation Science Center, it's clear that Lincoln Park Zoo is not just about displaying animals, but understanding and protecting them too. And here's the cherry on top. Admission to Lincoln Park Zoo is absolutely free. Yes, you heard that right. In a world where the cost of just about everything seems to be on the rise, Lincoln Park Zoo remains committed to keeping its doors open to all, free of charge. It's no wonder this gem of a zoo is a favorite among locals and tourists alike. With its rich history, its dedication to conservation, and its free admission, Lincoln Park Zoo is a must-visit destination when you're in Illinois. 
So whether you're an animal lover, a budding biologist, or simply someone looking for a fun and educational day out, Lincoln Park Zoo has something for everyone. The Lincoln Park Zoo, where wildlife thrives in the heart of Chicago, a place where every visit contributes to a larger global mission to connect people with nature and inspire them to take action for wildlife. So what are you waiting for? The wild is calling. And there you have it, the top 10 must-visit destinations in Illinois, each one a testament to the rich tapestry that is this vibrant state. From the rugged beauty of Starved Rock State Park to the serene tranquility of Anderson Japanese Gardens, from the artistic splendor of the Art Institute of Chicago to the buzzing excitement of Navy Pier, the historical significance of Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, the iconic Wrigley Field, the shopper's paradise that is the magnificent mile, the urban oasis of Millennium Park, the towering Willis Tower, and the family-friendly Lincoln Park Zoo. Each destination, unique and unforgettable in its own right. So why wait? Pack your bags, get your maps, and set your sights on Illinois? Experience the diversity and dynamism that permeates every corner of this state. From skyscrapers to state parks, from art to animals, Illinois awaits your discovery.